Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 25 minus 2 to the power of 24. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 2 to the power of 25 as 2 to the power of 24 plus 1. So I have this minus 2 to the power of 24. And the reason I did this is because we want both of these to be the same. We want to have two to the two two to the power of twenty fours. So the best way of changing two to the power of twenty five as two to the power of twenty four times something is to rewrite this as two to the power of twenty four plus one. So now I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So now 2 to the power of 24 plus 1 turns into 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1. And I still have this minus 2 to the power of 24. Now from here, what I'm going to do is factor out 2 to the power of 24. Because notice how both of these terms have 2 to the power of 24 in them. So, I get 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 24 is just 2 to the power of 1. And negative 2 to the power of 24 divided by 2 to the power of 24 is just negative 1. So I get 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 24 times 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 24 times 1. And this is just anything times 1 is obviously just equal to itself. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 24. Now, from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 12 times 2. So, the reason I did this is because I can now use the property a to the power of n times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And 2 to the power of 12, well, 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. 2 to the power of 2 is double of 2 to the power of 1, so 4. And 2 to the power of 3 is double of 2 to the power of 2, which is 8. So this pattern goes on. And I keep on doubling this until I reach 2 to the power of 12, which is equal to 4,096. So this is my value for 2 to the power of 12. So now I get 4,096 squared. Now, what most people would do, well, first of all, 4,096 squared is the same thing as 4,096 times 4,096. And from here, what most people would do is they would just multiply this like this. So they do 4,096 times 4,096 and use the conventional method to multiplying it. However, this method takes way too long and it's really easy to make an error using this method. So instead, to more easily solve this, I'm going to rewrite this as 4,000 plus 96 times 4,000 plus 96. And now I can use a distributive property. So I get 4,000 squared. Plus 
plus 4,000 times 96 plus 4,096, 4,000 times 96 plus 96 squared. Now, from here, four thousand squared. Well, this is simple because all we have to do is four squared, which is sixteen, and then a thousand squared, which is a million. So a million has six zeros. So all we have to do is add six zeros to the end of this. So I get sixty million. It's four thousand squared plus four thousand times ninety-six. Well. 4, 4 times 96 is 384, so then all we have to do is add three zeros to that. So I get 384,000, and then this should be 4,000. So plus, again, 4,000 times 96, which is 384,000, plus 96 squared, which is 9,216. So now all we have to do is add all of these up, which is fairly simple. So I get 16 million plus, let's first start by adding up 384,000 plus 384,000. So that's going to be 768,000 plus 9,216. And now this is equal to 16 million plus 768,000 plus 9,216, which is 7,000, or sorry, 777,216. And now for my final step, I just have to add this to 16 million. So we don't have to worry about the millions place, so I just get 16,777,216. So this is my answer to this problem. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like because I have many more videos like this on my channel in my channel, which you guys can try to solve. And if you're up for challenges, I have a bunch of those as well. So please make sure to subscribe and thank you. Bye. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation a to the power of four is equal to a minus one to the power of four. So to solve this, my only variable in this equation is a, which is the variable I'm be solving for. And now for my solution, I'm going to first rewrite this problem down here so I have a little more solving space. So my problem is a to the power of 4 is equal to a minus 1 to the power of 4. Now from here, I'm going to subtract a minus 1 to the power of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get a to the power of 4 minus a minus 1 to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now, from here, I'm going to rewrite a to the power of 4 as a to the power of 2 times 2. And I'm going to rewrite a minus 1 to the power of 4 as a minus 1 to the power of 2 times 2. And the reason I did this is because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So a to the power of 2 times 2 I can rewrite that as a to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And a minus 1 to the power of 2 times 2, I can do the same thing. I can rewrite this as a minus 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 2, and this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. So, in this case, I can think of x as a squared, 
and y as a minus 1 squared. So by using this property, I get a squared minus a minus 1 squared times a squared plus a minus 1 squared. And this is all equal to 0. Now, we're going to go ahead and expand a minus 1 squared. So a minus 1 squared is the same thing as a minus 1 times a minus 1, which is equal to, I can distribute the a, a squared minus a. Now if I distribute the negative 1, minus a plus 1, which is equal to a squared minus 2a plus 1. So now I get a squared minus a squared minus 2a plus 1. And then I have this times a squared plus a squared minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0. Now for my left hand side, these two cancel out and all I'm left with is negative 2a plus 1. And for my right hand side, these two add a squared plus a squared, so I get 2a squared minus 2a plus 1. And this is equal to 0. So, now from here, what I'm going to do is divide this into two different equations. So my first equation is negative 2a plus 1 is equal to 0. And my second equation is 2a squared minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0. Because either of these, just one of these, needs to equal to 0 for the entire equation to be equal to 0. So, now, I'm going to solve each of these equations individually. For negative 2a plus 1 equals 0, all I have to do is add 2a on both sides. And I get 2a is equal to 1. Now, if I divide both sides by 2... These two cancel out, and I get a is equal to 1 half. So this is one solution for a. Now, for 2a squared minus 2a plus 1, what I'm going to be using to solve this is the quadratic formula, because this is a quadratic equation. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And in this case, a is 2 b is negative 2, and c is 1. So I plug these values in, I get negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So negative 2 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 1, all over 2a. So 2 times 2. And now this is equal to positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 8 over 4. which is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 4. So now, the square root of negative 4, I can rewrite that as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. So I get a equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 4, i over 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. So I get a equals 2 plus or minus 2i over 4, which simplifies to a equals 1 plus or minus i over 2. So this is another two solutions to my equation. And finally, just to check, I can't check the imaginary solutions, but I can check one half. So I have a to the power 4 is equal to a minus 1 to the power 4. a is 1 half, so I get 1 half to the power 4 is equal to negative 1 half to the power 4. And both of these equal 1 over 16. So this is right, and my solution is right.